A bunny rabbit can reach sexual maturity at three months of age. The gestation period is 30 days and they can have four to 12 baby bunnies, or kits as they're called, in a single litter. This means that these new bunnies could themselves breed 12 more bunnies each just four months later, hence the phrase, breed like rabbits. Bunny facts, I got them kids. Now, keep that in mind as we learn to play a game. I'm Rob from JTRPodcast.com, I'm going to show you how to play Bunny Kingdom. This is a game for 2-5 to five players, plays in about 60 minutes, it's designed by Richard Garfield and is published by Yellow. You're the leader of a clan of bunnies, create feasts of connected regions, gather resources and build cities to gain glory and lead your clan to victory. To set up, place the board on the table and add the strength 1 city, that is a city with 1 spire on each city space on the board and pile everything else off to the side. Players take the 36 bunnies of their colour and place one on the zero mark of the glory track. Shuffle the exploration cards and place them face down. To start a round, deal out 12 cards to each player in a 3 player game and 10 in a 4 player game. The rules for acquiring cards are slightly different in a 2 player game, but the rest of the game plays the same. The game is played over 4 rounds, each with 3 phases. The first phase is the exploration phase where all players will draft cards. Of the cards in their hand, the player will choose 2 and pass the rest to their neighbour. In rounds 1 and 3 you pass left, in 2 and 4 you pass right. Then players will simultaneously play two cards they just drafted. These are parchment cards, these are just placed face down in front of the player and count towards end game scoring. Cards with a reference in the corner are territory cards which will allow you to play a bunny on that space. The top of the card will show if a resource or a strength one city is on that space. If you play a building card, put it face in front of you for now and put the relevant piece next to it. More on building in a bit. The provisions card lets you draw and play two cards from the deck. Do that, then discard it. Phase 2 is the construction phase where those buildings are put to use and placed on the board if you want. Buildings can be played the round they are drafted or left in front of the player to be built on a future round. Strength 1, 2 and 3 cities increase the thief by that much strength. Strength 3 cities can only be built on mountains as shown on the card. Farms increase the wealth of the thief they are in. If a farm is placed on a territory with a printed resource, that territory produces both resources. Luxury resources like these can only be built on mountains, again as shown on the card. Trading posts have all three basic resources. You can never have more than one building, city or token on a single space, but if you put a building on a space that has a basic good printed on the board, it still produces that good. These are camps that let you control any region on the board that doesn't have a building or a bunny on it. Just place a camp token on one of your bunnies on that space. Camps have a priority number and if multiple people draft them in the same round, they're resolved lowest to highest. In future rounds, if a player drafts a territory matching a territory with a camp, the camp is removed and the bunny replaced. Phase 3 is the harvest phase where players gain glory from their fiefs. A fief is all of the orthogonally connected territories belonging to one player. These narrow passages of lava break adjacency between its neighbouring mountain spaces. The value of a fief is the strength times wealth. The strength is the number of towers and each city in that fief. The wealth is each different resource. This fief has 3 strength and 2 different resources, 3 times 2 equals 6 points. Players score each of their fiefs and a new round begins. After 4 rounds the game ends. At the end of the game players reveal their parchments and score them. Some, like this raw carrot, just give you glory. Some will give you points each time you've done a certain thing, like this carpenter that gives you points for each wood resource you produce. Others require that you meet a certain condition, like the carrot king that will only give you points if you produce at least 5 carrots. If you use a trading post to meet these requirements, you must use the resource you picked during the final harvest phase. The player or players with the most glory wins the game and earns the title Big Ears. That's Bunny Kingdom, a drafting area control game. Please like this video if you found it useful, share it to let others know about it, and subscribe to the channel for more how to play videos as well as other board game related content. You can find me on Twitter at JTR Podcast, support the show at patreon.com forward slash JTR Podcast, and you can find my blog and podcast at JTRPodcast.com. I've been Rob aka Just of the Rogue, and until next time, keep on spreading like bunnies.